Well, for more on the story, we're joined by the IFP's Sipose Tu Ngobo. Oh, good evening to you, sir. Thank you so much for your time. So what is the plan of action from yourselves as parties in the opposition benches when it comes to having parliament play its role of oversight and accountability over the executive? Yeah, good evening to you and the viewers. Um, the stand of the IFP is, is that, uh, first of all, uh, the public protector, as the, the, the uh, uh, um, speaker, uh, has to make sure that she releases the public protector's report. It's very important for us. And if she doesn't do that, uh, we will put pressure, all the pressure that we can put together with the other uh, opposition parties uh, to make sure that that uh, report is released because we feel that this matter uh, has been tracking for too far too long and it's not getting sufficient attention since Fraser uh, reported it uh, to the South. The Public Protector's Office, of course, would be dealing with, with many other previous complaints and uh, inquiries into various reports. Is it really fair to be putting this much pressure on the Office of the Public Protector to release an, uh, you know, the outcome of an investigation that she is still well busy with? Surely we, we don't believe, as I feel, we don't believe that uh, the, the public protector is being pressured on this matter. Uh, we're talking about a very old matter, like you said in the beginning. Uh, what we're waiting for uh, is what we should have been given a long time ago, uh, and, and therefore it, it, it looks like, uh, you know, uh, it, it, this matter is not given a priority it deserves. Uh, this is a, a, a very important matter. It affects the president, head of the uh, republic, and therefore the country is getting impatient. And M we Mr. have a responsibility. M Mr. Ngobo, there's no question about the importance of this matter. Um, if we're being fair, it would have been within the last three weeks that the public protector would have received those written responses uh, from the president to um, the initial 31 questions that had been sent to him. Three weeks ago, it's less than a month. Uh, how is that too much time for an investigation that could well include elements that go beyond just the president if that affidavit by Arthur Fraser before um, the police is anything to go by? Yeah, but what I'm trying to say here is that in the first place, this matter uh, was, was uh, I mean, it, it came to the public long time before, and therefore everybody was anticipating uh, any uh, action from anybody. In particular, I am saying it, 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 it uh, revolves around the president of the country, and therefore a week, two weeks, uh, for the speaker, uh, I mean, should have been sufficiently enough uh, to make sure that she responds she responds adequately again. So, so, so just to clarify, Mr. Ngobo, you're not saying that the public protector has taken, uh, you know, too long in conducting the investigations. You're talking about the speaker of the National Assembly and why it is she hasn't officially responded um, to the request for an ad hoc committee to be set up to investigate this matter. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, all right. The speak yes, yes. Oh, all right. So, so that clarifies because those are two uh, very separate processes. Two separate, completely, yes. Yes. So, so you're not calling then for the public protector to release whatever information she has before she concludes her investigation? Well, the, uh, the public protector also uh, is expected to release all the information she has. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's only fair. While she's uh, conducting her investigation? That, uh, I beg your pardon. While she's conducting her investigation? Well, uh, the investigation seemed to be taking long for the public protector. Uh, but look, uh, I, I, the public protector must then uh, release whatever portion uh, she has, uh, I mean, uh, in her hands. It's very important. The, 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 the nation is getting impatient on this matter. Yeah, but, but, but Mr. Ngobo, the request that, that you're making is 
almost unheard of. Uh, I don't remember a case where the public protector has, you know, faced pressure to release uh, um, details of an investigation which she is currently busy with before she's even been able to conclude um, that, that report. As it stands, it doesn't even seem that the office has a draft report on the matter. But at least, uh, look, what the public protector should uh, have done was to take the nation into her confidence uh, by actually coming out and clear, clearly saying, uh, this is how far uh, I have gone as a public protector and I need so much time. But if she is quiet about it, it, it creates problems. That is why then uh, anybody has got to assume that there is maybe uh, something that uh, is being concealed here. Uh, why, why, why is she wasting time? Well, when we look at the latest that has come out of the public protector's office is that uh, the public mm. protector is actually uh, calling on, on interested parties uh, to stop interfering with the investigation. But, well, I mean, one would agree with the public protector. It's not interfering what we are doing. Uh, there is no interference. What we are doing is to say public protector. Uh, time, it, it's not that it's running out. Time, time has run out a uh, long time ago for us to at least be taken into confidence by being briefed as to what is going on and how far she is. Uh, on this matter, a very sensitive matter. And look, one, we also we, we have to take this into context. Uh, the, the, the country, uh, everybody knows, is experiencing so many problems and it's very difficult to trust anything. And that is why every hour, every minute, one has to make sure that uh, we take the executive uh, uh, I mean, make, make the executive accountable for, for all these actions. Uh, uh, that is why the pressure uh, to all those uh, who are concerned, uh, so course, that we may make way yeah. and, 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 and weigh our options. Uh, of course, the, the, the long time that you reference in as far as this investigation con is concerned is really uh, from about June, when Alpha Frazier initially um, went to the police to, to open a case against the president in that regard. So uh, this would be about the third month, possibly, that we're entering since this news has uh, become public knowledge. The public protector, again, in her statement, calling for interest, interested parties like yourself uh, to stop interfering, is saying that if she departs from due process she would not only be breaking the statutes under which she operates, but could well jeopardize the investigation that she's running. Yeah, but uh, like I've just said, the public protector uh, is well within her rights uh, to make sure that, uh, I mean, uh, she, she at least uh, re 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 releases uh, information uh, in, to the nation explaining what she is doing and how far she has gone. Not simply to say uh, we, 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 it's like we are interfering. We are not interfering. It's only that we feel time has run out. Three months is too much and we're talking about the head of the republic. That's right. the issue. All right, we'll leave it there for tonight. Uh, the IFP's Sipose to Ngobo and, of course, the public protector's uh, statement earlier on in the day responding to these calls for her to make uh, some of those details uh, public, uh, emphasizing some of uh, the statutory requirements and the legislation that actually prohibits her from doing that and says that her office will continue to do its work without fear and favor and operate within the confines of the country's constitution.